the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Sunday, June 5, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Toronto Blue Jays vs Minnesota Twins. Our team pick is. Toronto minus 1.5 runs. And here is why, Minnesota got off to an outstanding start this season, sitting at 27-16 on May 24th. The Twins have struggled since then, losing 7 of their last 11 games. They dropped the final 3 games of their series at Detroit earlier this week, scoring a combined 2 runs in those 3 setbacks. Minnesota was able to break out of that slump on Friday, pouring in 9 runs in the win. The Twins have been a strong offensive team this season, ranked number 12 in the MLB in batting average .245. First baseman Luis Arez leads the way with 53 hits and a .342 average. Toronto was sitting one game above the .500 mark one month ago, as it was coming off a five-game losing streak. The Blue Jays now find themselves nine games above the break-even point, as they have been one of the hottest teams in baseball over the last 30 days. They went on an eight-game winning streak that came to an end on Friday, sweeping the Angels and White Sox along the way. Toronto is wrapping up a six-game homestand on Sunday afternoon. The Blue Jays have worked their way back into contention in the Al East, sitting 6.5 games back of the Yankees. They are just a half game behind Tampa Bay for second place. This is a good pitching matchup on paper, but I feel much better about Toronto on Sunday afternoon. Smeltzer has only made a few starts this season and is still not part of the permanent roster, so I trust Gossman to have the better outing on Sunday afternoon. This will also be one of Smeltzer's toughest opponents, especially with how well Toronto has been playing of late. The Blue Jays have finally found their form and are starting to look like serious contenders. I do not want to bet against them in this spot. Our total pick is. Over 8. And here is why. Although Kevin Gossman will do his part in holding Minnesota to very few runs, the Blue Jays will put up big numbers on the board against twin starter Devin Smeltzer. The total has finished over in 7 of Minnesota's last 11 games played on the road and in 38 of the last 60 games that Minnesota has played on the road as the underdog. The total has gone over in each of Toronto's last 4 at home and in each of the last 6 overall for the Blue Jays. Cincinnati Reds vs Washington Nationals. Our team pick is. After getting outscored 26-6 during a miserable four-game stretch this week, the Nationals were finally able to pick up a win on Friday night, with the offense coming alive. Nelson Cruz got Washington on the board with a solo shot in the second, before Lane Thomas and Juan Soto both went deep the next inning, and Thomas launched two more dingers later in the night to ensure the win. Josiah Gray was also stellar on the mound, allowing two runs on two hits and three walks, while piling up nine strikeouts over six innings. Tanner Rainey picked up his sixth save after things got a little tighter in the late innings. Thomas drove in four runs overall on his three homers, while Cruz enjoyed a three-hit night. The Reds have played strong baseball since their historically awful 3-22 start, including an 8-1 win to open the current series against Washington, but Friday was not their night, as starter Mike Miner wasn't sharp following a lengthy Illinois stint. Tommy Pham got the Reds off to a great start with a two-run homer in the bottom of the first, only for the next eight runs to go to Washington, and Joey Votto's three-run bomb in the eight only made the final score closer. Miner took the loss, allowing five runs on six hits over four winnings, striking out four. Pham was on base twice to pace the Reds' offense, which only had five hits for the night overall. The Reds have quietly had one of the better records in baseball over the last 25 games and with their best pitcher headed to the mound on Sunday, have a ton of value here against a struggling opponent. Corbin has been absolutely shelled all season and it's hard to pass up plus odds on the run line as Cincinnati looks like the better all-around team now. Castillo is getting better each time out following his injury, culminating in a gem against a great Boston offense earlier in the week, bringing his season totals to a 19 KBB percent and 71 FIP. Cincinnati has a respectable enough 102 WRC plus at the plate over the last 30 days, as it has gotten much healthier overall, while the future Hall of Famer Vado is heating up. 
Corbin has not been the same since his heavy workload in the 2019 postseason, and his predictive numbers like a 5.870 don't show much hope of a turnaround, as opponents have had no problem making hard contact against him. Castillo has the upside to shut down any lineup, and the Reds should pile on against a struggling Corbin here. Our total pick is, under 9.5 runs. Luis Castillo has been one of the only bright spots for the Reds pitching staff this season. He has a 3.380 RA, 1.01 whip, and a 28 KBB ratio in five games started this season. Opposing batters are hitting just .196 against Castillo this season. While Washington does not have a problem getting hits, home runs are a major problem for the Nationals, as they are bottom five in the league in home runs. It will be difficult to keep collecting hits against Castillo, and Washington does not pose much of a threat to go yard. Cincinnati has not been very good on offense this season. They are bottom 10 in the league in runs, hits, home runs, batting average, OBP, SLG, and ops. This will be a lower scoring game, and the under will hit. Tampa Bay Rays vs Chicago White Sox. Our team pick is Tampa Bay for the win. And here is why. The Chicago White Sox will look to build on their 3-2 win over the Rays from Saturday. Tim Anderson leads the White Sox with 58 hits, including 5 home runs, 19 RBIs, 9 doubles and a .356 batting average, while Luis Robert has 6 home runs, Andrew Vaughn has 6 homers and 22 RBIs, and Jose Abreu is also chipping in a team-high 7 homers, with 23 RBIs this season. Lucas Yolito will start here and is 3-2 with a 3.61 ERA and 59 strikeouts this season. Chicago has been one of the streakiest teams in baseball so far this season. The White Sox lost eight straight games in April before winning six straight games in early May. They were one game above the .500 mark on May 22, but they have fallen on hard times since then. Chicago had lost seven of its last nine games heading into Saturday, including Friday night series opener. The White Sox are trying to keep pace with Minnesota in the American League Central, but they continue falling behind. They are six games back of the Twins and 2.5 games behind Cleveland heading into Saturday's slate. The Tampa Bay Rays will try to bounce back from a frustrating loss to the White Sox in this matchup. Wander Franco has 48 hits along with four home runs and 19 RBIs, as well as a .270 batting average, while Franco has 11 doubles, and Randy Arizarino also has a team-high 52 hits and a team-high 12 doubles, and Brandon Lowe has a pair of triples. Manuel Margot has 23 RBIs and a .313 batting average of his own, and the aforementioned Lowe also has five home runs this season. Kevin Kiermaier has a team-high six home runs of his own, while Yandy Diaz has a .274 batting average as well on the year. Jai Manchoy also has a team-high 25 RBIs up to this point. The Rays did not have a starting pitcher announced at the time that this article was posted. I get the reason for backing either team here, but I'm looking at Tampa Bay here. The White Sox are back in one of those funks where wins are scarce, especially back-to-back -back wins, and as well as Lucas Yolito is pitching for most of the season, he's coming off of his worst start of the year, and I think Tampa Bay can take advantage. Give me the raise in this one. Our total pick is over the total. And here is why. Chicago is 23rd in Team ERA, and the total has finished over in each of Chicago's last five games, and in each of the last five games that Chicago has played as the underdog. In addition, the total has finished over in six of the last eight games that the White Sox have played against the Rays, and in each of the last four games that Chicago has played on the road against Tampa Bay. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 